So for most of my life, I used to think that burnout came from working too hard. And when you're burnt out, it just means you need to take a break or something. And during university, when studying at Cambridge, I realized that burnout actually doesn't come from that. It comes from when your inputs and outputs aren't correlated with each other. So for example, let's say you're a student and you study for a test, you study 10 hours, say, and you only get 50%. And you're like, man, I'm gonna study harder next time so I can get more, like, a higher score. So you study 15 hours for your next test and you get 52%. And you're gonna feel like, man, like maybe I'm just not good at this studying thing. So you train again, you study harder and you get 53% after 20 hours of studying. And eventually after some time, you're gonna feel burnt out because you see your inputs and outputs aren't correlated or strongly correlated with each other. Whereas in the cases when they are, so for example, let's say you're doing a business and you're like marketing or selling a product and you put in one hour of time into marketing and you get $100 in sales. You put in three hours, you get $500 in sales. You put in 10 hours, you get like, I don't know, $5,000 in sales or something. For every extra one hour of input that you're putting in, you notice yourself getting many units of output, either exponentially correlated or linearly correlated. And it's pretty easy to see that in that situation, you wouldn't mind working 12, 13, 14 hours a day because you can see your results will be better the more you work. But if you are working on the same business and no matter how many extra hours you are putting in, your sales weren't really increasing, after enough time, like weeks or months, you're gonna feel bent out and you're gonna feel pretty hopeless and losing, having lost all motivation or something. Whereas in cases where other people are working on things that are succeeding and they see many, like one unit of input leads to many units of output, they will feel more motivated to work even harder and that motivation kind of feeds on to itself where they get even better outputs and then they feel more motivated. And sooner or later, they're working like 9, 10, 11, 12 hours a day. And you compare yourself to them and you're like, man, maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe I just can't work hard enough. But I think that everyone is able to work for a long time or work hard enough as long as they have their inputs and outputs correlated for something that they care about. And I think if you can achieve this, you'll feel more motivated, you'll feel more energized, and that will lead back onto itself and make you even better at the thing. And then your outputs will be even more strongly correlated to your inputs. And then it just is like a positive feedback loop. So what does this mean for you, like personally? I think it means that if you feel burnt out after taking a short break because you want to like reset your headspace and like, like take a step back and view the problem objectively, after taking a short break, you think, how can I make my inputs and outputs correlated with each other? Maybe there's something about my system I need to change. For example, like maybe if I'm a student, I'm not studying effectively, so I should look at more effective studying techniques that would make my inputs and outputs more strongly correlated. And that can be like space repetition, active recall and whatever. Or if you're running a business, you might realize after taking a short break, like this business is just really hard. And there's another business idea that I have or another business I can work on where my inputs and outputs will be more strongly correlated to each other. So I think basically, like I mentioned in previous video, that if you feel like a failure or you feel like a loser, it often means that it's not your skill set, but the path you're following. I think if you feel burnt out similarly, it's often not a you problem, it's more of the thing that you're doing. You're fundamentally using techniques or you're working on something where your inputs and outputs aren't correlated with each other. So if you can make them correlated and you can like have one increase in a one unit of input lead to an increase in one unit of output or many units of output, then it will be really beneficial for you.